Hi, in this particular video, we're going to be looking at unit conversions. Now, while it is a grade three GCSE, it's one that keeps tripping people up. It's about one or two marks per question. Well worthwhile working through the worksheet. If you need any help, always add a comment. I'll come back to you. I look forward to seeing you inside the video. Okay, in this particular video, we're going to be looking at unit conversions. This is roughly about grade three, but actually uh, these types of questions do crop up in a lot of the exam papers. They're only usually one or two marks. It's well worthwhile practicing them. So please do stop the video, have a go at each of these questions. So the first few are going to be fairly straightforward. We're going to convert 1,500 meters to kilometers. Because there are a thousand meters in a kilometer, we're going to divide by a thousand, which which basically means that would be 1.5 kilometers as the answer to question number one. And question number two is going to be pretty much the same, but this time we're going to multiply by a thousand. So if we multiply by a thousand, we're taking 8.7 and then we're moving the decimal point three places. So that's going to give us 8,700 meters as the answer to question number two. Question number three, uh, again, we've got a relationship of a thousand grams in a kilogram. So we're going to divide by 1,000. If we divide by 1,000, we're going to move the decimal point three places. So it's going to start here. It's going to go one, two, three, and that's going to give us 3.42 kilograms. Okay, number four, well we've got 0 0.56 to kilograms to grams. We're going to multiply that by 1000 because there's a thousand grams in a kilogram and that's going to give us 500 and 60 grams. Okay, number five, we're going to convert 120 millimeters to centimeters. Well, that means we're going to divide by 10 because there are 10 millimeters in a centimeter. So that's going to be 12 centimeters. Okay, so the final two questions on this side one, uh, 10 centimeters to millimeters, there are 10 millimeters in a centimeter so I multiply by 10 that's going to give me a hundred millimeters and then the final one there are a thousand milliliters in one liter so that's going to give me 3,500 milliliters. Okay, that's hopefully that's okay for you. If you're not sure about anything always please um, post a comment and I will come back to you. Okay, let's have a look at number eight and nine then. So 1,260 millilitres to litres, I'm going to divide by 1,000. If I do that, I move the decimal point three places, I get 1.26 litres. Okay, 0 0.65 metres to centimetres. In this particular case, then, I need to multiply by 100 because there are 100 centimetres in a metre, and therefore I'm going to get 65 centimeters. Okay, let's look at number 10 and number 11. So um, 23,000 centimeters to meters, I'm going to be dividing by 100. So that's going to give me 230 meters, the answer to number 10. Okay, number 11, we're going to be dividing by 1000. Okay, so hopefully you're getting used to this now that it really is just a case of moving the decimal point backwards and forwards. And once you've done these a few times, hopefully it shouldn't be so tricky. So number 12, then we're going to divide by 10 because there's 10 millimeters in a centimeter. So that should give us 345.5 centimeters. Uh, number 13, we're going to multiply by a thousand. And that's going to give us one, two, five, zero, zero milliliters. And then number 14, we're going to convert 56.5 meters to kilometers. OK, so therefore I'm going to divide by a thousand and I'm going to follow exactly the same principle. I'm going to move the decimal point three places. So therefore I start after the six as it is at the moment. One, two, three. So it'll actually work out zero point. 0.0565 kilometers and that would be the answer to number 14. Okay, so they are fairly straightforward, either multiplying, dividing by a hundred or a thousand. So let's have a look at uh, question number 15 when it comes to looking at areas. Now this is slightly different. I'm going to give you a slightly different method of doing that and that is to actually make a brief sketch 
So in this particular case we've got 75 millimeters square as an area. So if you could pretend that this is one millimeter and this is 75 millimeters, I do appreciate it's not to scale, but it will give you 75 millimeters square in terms of the area. Now if we now convert that effectively as an exactly the same size, but this time we're going to measure it in centimeters. So it'd be 7.5 centimeters and 0 0.1 centimetres. If we look at working out the area of that, it's going to be 7.5 times 0 0.1, which is going to give us 0 0.75 centimetres square. And this is the method I'm going to use for most of these, and hopefully this will be okay for you. I think sometimes the visualisation works really well. So let's have a look then at question number 16. 675 millimeters square. It's basically a rectangle that's 675 millimeters long by one millimeter. Appreciate it's not drawn accurately at all, but hopefully you'll get the idea that if you convert it then to centimeters, it'll be 67.5 centimeters by 0 0.1 centimetres and when we multiply those two together I'm going to get 6.75 centimetres squared and that would be the answer to question number 16. Okay so question number 17 please do stop the video and have a go use exactly the same principle we're going to make this 6.5 and we're going to make this one and this is going to be in meters okay I'm going to change it to center oops sorry I'm going to change the centimeters pretend that's exactly the same size is going to be 650 uh, centimeters by 100 centimeters and when I multiply that out I'm actually going to get 65,000 centimeters square which would be the answer to question number 17. Okay, question number 18 is a bit of, a, of an odd one really. It's just to reinforce that we're going now from um, centimetres square, which is area, to volume. So effectively, I've got 5,300 centimetres cubed to litres. So you need to know that there are 1,000 centimetres cubed equals 1 litre. And if we've got 53,000 of them, it must actually be 5.3 litres because we're going to divide by 1,000. OK, now let's look at then at question number 19. So question number 19, we are still working in cubes, but this time what I'm going to uh, suggest is that we do what we did before and basically think about drawing a cube, which is going to be 25 centimetres by 1 centimetre by 1 centimetre. And that's going to give us 25 centimetres cubed. Well, if you can imagine exactly the same cube, but this time what we're going to do is we're going to measure it in millimetres. And that's going to be 250 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 10. And when we work all of that out, we actually get 25,000 millimetres cubed. OK. So hopefully that's all right for you. That principle that we did with area is also good for volume as well. So we're going to have a look at a final question, which is question number 20 for this kind of idea. And again, I'm going to use the same principle. Here's my block. OK, you don't have to draw the block if you don't want to, but it does help, I think. It's 4.5 metre by 1 metre by 1 metre. So this is all in metres cubed. OK, if I want to change that, I'm going to use the same block, but this time I'm going to measure it out in centimetres, which is going to be 450 multiplied by 100 multiplied by 100. And that's going to give me quite a large number, 4, 5. And if you mention, if you look, I've got, or if you see, I've got 45 times 1 times 1. And then I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros afterwards. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros afterwards. And that's going to be centimetre cubed. OK, so hopefully that's all right. It gives you enough practice on those sorts of uh, types of conversions. Let's have a look then at question number 21. Now these have gone up to two marks now. These sorts of uh, questions do turn up usually in non-calculator papers, so well worthwhile having a go at this. So we've got um, 12 kilometres per hour. So what I'm going to say is that that's the same as saying 12,000, because there are 1,000 metres 
in a kilometer so 12,000 meters and rather than having per hour if it was per minute it would be 60 because there are 60 minutes in a in an hour and then because we're looking for seconds it would be multiplied by another 60 so this bit of it means it would be meters per minute and this bit of it means it would be meters per second which is exactly what we're looking for okay so how do we calculate that well if we multiply this out then we're going to get 12,000 along the top and at the bottom we're going to get 3,600 and then really it's just a case of reducing this fraction to something that's a bit more manageable so if I divide top and bottom by 100 I'm going to get 120 over 36 and then if I divide top and bottom by 6 I'm going to get um, Sorry, if I divide it by top and bottom by 2, I'm going to get 60 over 18. And then I'm going to divide top and bottom by 6, so I get 10 over 3. Now, that is actually the value in metres per second. It's not particularly great, so I'd probably write that as a decimal of 3.3 recurring meters per second which would be the answer to number 21 okay so hopefully you're following this whole idea that what we're doing is using fractions and reducing fractions and equivalent fractions to try to get us to the actual answer so let's have a look then at question number 22 so we've got 54 kilometers so almost immediately I'm going to make that 54,000 meters and that's basically meters per hour okay and then I'm going to divide by 60 is going to give us meters per minute and then I'm also going to divide uh, multiply by another 60 so again as we've done before that's minute and that would be seconds and then really it's just a case of solving this so we've got or calculating it really they are always I say always the very frequently non calculator type questions so divide top and bottom by a hundred I'm going to get those two knocked off and then I've got 540 divided by 36 well um, that's really if I divide top and bottom by 6 I'm actually going to get 90 over 6 and I happen to know that that's going to be 15 because 6 goes into 90 15 times so it'll be 15 meters per second the answer is number 22 okay hopefully that's all right for you please do have a go at these sorts of questions uh, number 23 and 24 is slightly um, trickier okay so on to question number 23 this is a little bit trickier to kind of work through but hopefully you'll be okay with this but if we're saying it's 60 meters per second that means if we're going to convert it to kilometers per hour we're going to multiply by 60 to get meters per uh, minute and then we're going to multiply by 60 to get meters per hour okay so hopefully you're okay with that that's the number of meters that we're actually going to cover in one hour which is going to be 216,000 meters per hour now if I want it, the answer in kilometers per hour I'm going to divide that by a thousand because there are a thousand meters in a kilometer so my answer will be 216 kilometers per hour so a little bit different to actually have a look at those sorts of questions maybe stop the video and have a go at question number 24 for yourself but basically we're going to do the same thing what we're saying is we've got 22 meters per second so in one minute they're going to cover 60 times more and then in one hour it's going to be 60 times more than that so that would give me a value of meters per hour which is going to be 79,200 meters per hour I need to convert it through to kilometers per hour so I'll divide by a thousand that should give me 79.2 kilometers per hour so slightly trickier one to kind of work through but hopefully you'll be okay with that and then um, unit conversion type questions can also come as these sorts of things where you've got um, graphs that you can change in this particular case between pounds and dollars now it's going to be quite tricky to kind of work backwards and forwards through the actual uh, uh, video sliding it backwards and forwards but I'll give you the questions the first one is the ones at the bottom here so we're going to change 60 pounds to dollars change 50 pounds to pounds 
or fifty dollars to pounds and then change 180 pounds to dollars so I'll answer the first one which is going to be 60 pounds to dollars so you can see along the bottom uh, axis there I've got this line here which is 60 pounds okay I'm going to convert that across to dollars and it's going to go something like that I'm sorry about my wobbly line here but if I just put uh, at the top here the answer to A is going to be $77 apologies for my dollar sign there okay so B we're going to use exactly the same thing as $50 to pounds so if I take my 50 across here and then take it down it's actually just a little shy of the uh, 40 is actually going to be in this particular case 38 pounds so the answer to B would be 38 pounds if you download the answer sheet from the website um, then hopefully this will be drawn a little bit better than this one okay so C we're going to change 180 dollars to pounds well actually we don't need to worry too much about it because we already know the answer to A is 60 uh, 60 pounds to dollars so if we're going to change um, 180 pounds to dollars it's actually three times more so it's going to be 77 multiplied by 3 which is going to be 231 dollars which would be the answer to part c so 77 dollars for a 38 pounds for b and 231 for c okay so hopefully that's all right for you also if you have a look in the description below the questions are also there as well okay let's move on to the final question on this particular worksheet is going to be uh, this one so this is miles to kilometers and we've got three four questions actually we've got change 40 kilometers to miles 50 miles to kilometers Jane drives at that and change 100 miles okay so let's have a look at the first one then um, I've got a little bit more space on the right hand side here so I'm going to write the answer so the first one is we're going to change 40 kilometers to miles so that's going to be this line along here and that's going to be somewhere around about there which is actually 23 miles okay for the first one and then B well we've got uh, 50 miles to kilometers so that's again fairly straightforward 50 along here okay and when we work that through on the kilometers we're actually going to get it something like that which is going to be 84 kilometers on this particular graph it's not exactly right but on this particular graph it's fine okay so Jane drives at a speed of 45 miles an hour work out Jane's speed in kilometers per hour so all we've got to do is look at the 45 sign along here okay and that's going to give us um, something like about 70 uh, it's actually a little bit less I've not drawn that particularly well but it's actually about 73 kilometers per hour for Jane okay and then finally we've got change a hundred miles to kilometers okay well we already know that um, 50 miles is going to be equal to 84 kilometers so this is miles and that's going to be equal to 84 kilometers actually the answer to question number two there so if I want a hundred miles I'm just going to double it and that's going to equal 168 kilometers which is my answer for uh, part d of this particular question okay so i hope the worksheet was useful please do subscribe to the site add a like add a comment if you're not sure about anything i'll see you inside the next video